Hey guys, you're here with Teen Geek from the Move with Lenore, and we're hanging out with Matt Underwood. Okay, so what's the whole deal with the Top Gun fashion line? They've been around for 12 years now, yeah. but they just now started making clothing, basically like apparel. What were they before? Just leather jackets, you okay. know, like bomber jackets yeah, and got it. motorcycle jackets. So I got I got to see it from the from the very start of the beginning of the clothing. And, uh, and all from the design process to when they started making it. They made it in the, in the factories that Abercrombie makes their clothes in. Hmm. So that was really cool. It was in China. And, uh, and, and it, was, it was just so much fun to be a part of that, that whole, you know, step by step. You know, you got to crawl before you can walk, yeah, walk before you can it. run. So I, I, was, I was really excited to be a part of that. And now I'm, I'm still working, working our way with uh, Top Gun and promoting. And, and now that Top Gun 2 is in the works of being made. I saw that. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, it's gonna be a big, big boost for us. It's going to be really fun. I feel that's so cool. Like you're growing with something and you're part of it. Not like you came in when it's already this huge thing. Well, yeah, exactly. Well, you know, he, he had a lot of success. You know, the company, he had a lot of success previously in the city of New York with, with the Top Gun leather jackets. He has like nine stores all around New York. And, um, you know, he had the success there. And then when I got, when I got to come in with him, and, uh, and I started working with him. Now that's when we're trying to do a, a full global expansion. We're not even yeah. just thinking about small or run in New Jersey or just somewhere states that are close to Los Angeles. We're going full global Australia, Croatia, China. Croatia? Yeah, it, he's from Croatia. <laughs> the owner's from Croatia. So, you know, he's, we've got to start up to do something there. Yeah. And then all around the United States, we're going to try to do a little bit uh, in different in specific states. And, and, uh, and I've, been, I've been getting to be a, a big help when it comes to, uh, to placing things figuring out, you know, the different marketing ideas, marketing plans, and, and it's, been, it's, it's been really fun. That's, that's why, that's a lot of my passion is in it. It's marketing and promoting and, and getting people to to be interested in the product. Yeah. And, and I have to say, I saw you modeling it online as well. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I did a lot of the modeling for it, which was really great. I got to take a lot of pictures with the beautiful girls that uh, are the models for Top Gun. That was the best part. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> yeah, I, um, it, was just, it was actually uh, one of the models specifically that I had this huge crush on. I still do. Um, <laughs> And uh, I got to see her a lot, actually. We got to spend a lot of time in New York. Um, her name is Victoria. And he's, uh, she's, she's a really sweet girl, and she's just ridiculously gorgeous. I can just, like, dying. But, uh, yeah, you know, I can I don't see really how you're even talking about it yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, I still, I still have you know, daydreams about her. And, um, you know, I, just, I, I, I haven't gotten the time to spend time in New York often lately. So I've been, you know, down in Florida working on the project. And, and they kind of cut time away from seeing her and seeing all my fans. But I'm, I'm on my way to get back up here, and we're going to be doing some workshops. Okay. Another, the newest one of my yeah, projects. Yeah, that's what you're going to have to talk about yeah. next. <laughs> and another transition. And, uh, yeah, my, my new acting workshops, the boot camps, they're, uh, they're 16 hour workshops. They're two days, Saturday and Sunday. And, and, and today we did it for like nine, nine hours. hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, I'm getting a chance to, to teach kids not only about acting, but, but uh, uh, help, the, help, you know, help everybody learn the different aspects of creating success for yourself. Not just, you know, what it takes to become a character and what it takes to go to the casting office and, and, and read the casting director, I really want to help, you know, promote the ideas of, of creating personal success, uh, getting commitment, getting motivation, and, and some of the tools that you can use along the process, the steps that you can take to help build yourself to success. Like, you know, I've been doing this yeah. for almost 20 years now, like 19 well, and a half years. a long time. Yeah. <laughs> well, longer than I've been around. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely paid off. I mean, the motivation that I, that I get from it is, is my fans and, you know, getting getting a chance to, to entertain people, getting a chance to, to influence people and, and really just just make them feel emotions that, that I wouldn't, like I can make somebody feel sad yeah. or happy or make them laugh, you know, 3,000 miles away. And I can yeah, make exactly. a million people do it at the same time. And I couldn't do that if I, did, if I was in any other job. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's a life goal for me to be able to help as many people as I possibly can. That's so sweet. <laughs> so wait, but going back to Zoe 101, how is it? How would you like working with Jamie Mustiers and Victoria Justice and everybody back at that time? It was uh, it was really fun. I mean, Jamie was Jamie was such a sweet girl. I mean, she she was very she was very down to earth, and, and she wasn't exactly when I when I would see her on like all that and and, and, and shows like that, I, I was kind of intimidated. Like you know, I thought really? she well, I thought she would be like you know, like maybe like a stuck up girl, or, or I thought Britney Spears might be stuck up, or she might be like you know. Like different. A, just, yeah, different. But, uh, but they weren't. They were both really, really, really nice. Brittany used to come to the set a lot, and, and she was so down to earth. She was so polite. She was so well mannered. She made me feel mean. Like, she just <laughs> she really did. She really made me feel mean. And uh, she would always be the person that would, like, hold the door open for everybody. It'd be a chain, like, 50 people walking in the door. 
and she would hold the door open, and I'm thinking like, gosh, you're one of the most famous human beings yeah. on the planet, and you just hold the door open for people. I, like I hold the door open for people, but I, I didn't do that before. Yeah, I kind of learned that from her. Stairs. Yeah, but and then also like she says, yes sir, yes ma'am, and and, it, and things like that. I wouldn't, I didn't say it until I met them because I was like, yeah. I, I have to say yes sir and yes ma'am, or else I look mean. I look rude. <laughs> and next to her, and she's saying yes ma'am to everybody. And uh, and then you know Victoria was really nice. She was a fantastic actor. And now she's got her show victorious. I'm really really uh, happy for her. She's uh, she's getting to entertain more people on <laughs> Nickelodeon, which is really, really good. I heard the show's really funny. I haven't gotten a chance to you watch it. You haven't seen it. Yet? I haven't. No. It's a good show. I've heard. I've heard from a lot of people that it's a really funny show. And 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 you know and then also like Chris Massey who uh, who's playing Michael, one of my co-stars. Yeah. He was like my best friend. We always had the most fun on set all the time. And, I always remember most of the time when a lot of his lines were like improv. You know, he would just he was so he was so funny in real <laughs> life that he would just say random things or you know they'd give him a line and he'd say he'd say the line the gist of the line but he yeah. worded himself so it just made it three thousand times funnier and he just <laughs> he was so funny. We always played pranks on each other and and you can actually catch a lot of those on like the Zoe 101 DVDs or like on Teen Nick they have a couple clips like when Sean Flynn who played Chase he switched out my cup. With a with a, a drink that was was a concoction of every non toxic liquid that he could find that he find in wow. the craft service truck like Tabasco sauce, ranch dressing, Thousand Island sauce. Ah, oh, that must um, have like killed your mouth. Oh man, I threw up. I threw up instantly. They all caught it. They caught it all on camera. I'm just standing there, you know, <laughs> normally nonchalant. I have my cup down. He walks up, slides it around, and then walks up and starts talking to me. I just take a sip and just throw up immediately. It was really gross. And then like Chris would always, he would. We'd be standing there in the scene sometimes, and there'd be a whole row of us, and you can see it once in, in Hands on a Blitz Van, which was in the fourth season. He just, he would take his fist, and he would just swing it down and hit me in the groin, and I was just, I, I would just, I would just, oh my god, you'd have to stay still, because you know, you can't break character. <laughs> exactly. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna kill you! So what's one thing that you encourage for people that are starting into the business? Uh, definitely have commitment to to the to your to your industry to your craft and and don't give up. Don't you know you're gonna get a lot of rejection and it's not yeah. it's not like that somebody's telling you no because you're not a good actor or because you're not you know as beautiful as, as you think <laughs> as, as everybody uh, th everybody thinks they need to be. But you know it's 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 because you know you gotta make choices when you when you develop characters and when you do your scenes. You, you make choices about who your character is, what makes your character who they are. This is, you're a fantastic actor and you're very talented, and the cast and directors, directors will see that. But just because you don't get the role doesn't mean that your choices weren't correct, they weren't right. That's just oftentimes, you get five pages of an entire 200 page script, and you're supposed to make an entire backstory, a future yeah. story, figure out who this character is, and you've only got five pages. Also, you've got to understand there's going to be like 10,000 people that are auditioning for your same role. You don't want to take those no's personally. You've got to go for it. You've got to go for what you want. You've got to go for your dreams and never look back. Not, not once. Ever. How did it make you feel that out of like all those 10,000 people that went out for Logan that you got it? Only you. I know. It, it, was, it, it was a very, very amazing experience. It was unbelievable, really. And I just... I, I was so grateful for, for having that role, and, and, and I, I, I put the commitment into it. I put the work into it, and I made the choices that I made, and, and I knew as soon as I got that role, as soon as I got that phone call, that I booked Logan Rees on Nickelodeon's <laughs> Zoe 101, that I was, that it was, that, it, that I, 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 I was a success. I wanted to be on a television show, and that was my goal in life. And then when I got that, when I got the television show, and I was only 13 years old. That's still young, though. I know. And, and, and so when I got that success, I, I had to stop. I had to thank everybody in my life for, for, for being so supportive of me. And my new life goal is to is basically change the world somehow. In some <laughs> positive way, I'm going to do it. The whole world is going to change. Entire the whole entire world. The whole entire, every single person. That's a really big You're so inspiring. Have you ever thought about writing a book? I'm I, yeah. being serious. <laughs> I've, uh, I've been told by lots of people to, to write a book. I just, you know... I, I feel like I have, I have a good outlook on life. I'm positive. I like to live. I like to, I like to make people feel happy. I like to make people feel good about themselves. And, and because if you, if you feel good about yourself, if you're confident in your abilities, because you are the only you. You're the only you in your life. You're the only one that can do what you do the way that you do it. So the way that you do what you do is 100% perfect. Because nobody can do it like you. You're the only person that can do anything in your life like you. And if you know that, you know, 
it's it you don't you don't take you know negative criticism to heart. You know, when somebody tells you that you're not doing something correctly, and and meanwhile it's just an opinion based criticism. Yeah. That's where it, uh, people will allow themselves to be affected by that. You said the work on it. What is one fact that nobody knows? One fact that nobody knows. Or try to make it. So if because if you don't want nobody to know, then you're not going to tell me. Obviously. But um. Come on, think. Um. In love with fishing. Why? I don't know. It's just peaceful. It's calm, and uh, I'm. I think I'm pretty good at it. You know, it's one of those things that I didn't know I'd be good at. But I've been spending a lot of time in Florida recently, so mainly the only thing to do in Florida is dirt bike, and fish? Uh, mud, and fish. Yeah, exactly. So, so you dirt bike then too? Yeah, I do. I do dirt bike. Um, I do. I, I've been going mudding a lot recently. We've got my family's got a whole bunch of big trucks. They're all rednecks, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> also I've been uh, getting more into alligator wrestling recently. The biggest what? one, yeah, the biggest one I had was a three foot one. Wait, wait, wait. You mean like... Well, there's like tape on the mouth and stuff. Yeah. And they're not going to bite my arm off, but what that, you do is... I've never heard of actually... Well, I've heard of it, but I've never actually talked to anybody that's actually done it. It's fun. It's, I actually, the first time I did it, I think I was like 10 years old. I was with my uncle. He's crazy. My uncle's insane. He just... We were yeah, in the Everglades. An alligator. That's just normal. Yeah, well, the, the, he was just stupid about it because he <laughs> tried to jump on a mother alligator. And his, the babies were over on the side and we were all playing with the baby alligators. Wow. And that's when the mother, like the five-foot monster, came out. And she came out to protect her children. So you, you know, exactly. So you don't wrestle the alligator that's trying to protect her children. She wants to. Yeah, I'm, I would have been petrified. <laughs> I, I swear, I wouldn't want to do that. That's well, so creepy. It is scary, scary, though. It's very scary, but that's the best part about it. You know, it's, it's, that, it's that, the thought that, that this creature could just take your life like that. The adrenaline rush that you get from something <laughs> like that. Like, like riding a roller coaster, but without, without shoulder straps. Yeah, on. just with life or death situations. Exactly. I love anything that really just makes that adrenaline rush just, it, it puts me in the situation where. I appreciate life a lot more because I know it could just end like that. Another fact that nobody knows about me, I really, really, really want to be part of the Jackass team. From the MTV <laughs> show and the yeah, new yeah. movies, I want to be part of that team so bad. Is so, there a reason? Yeah, I mean, think about it. I love Are alligator wrestling. <laughs> exactly. I, uh, I mean, I used to make stunt videos when I, when I first, don't, kids don't make, don't do this at home. <laughs> but uh, I used to make stunt videos when I first started watching Jackass. And uh, sorry if I keep saying that word, but um, go ahead. <laughs> um, and uh, and the last stunt that I did was I tried to jump over my mother's moving car. And uh, yeah, I. And I how know. old were you? I was 15. I think I was yeah. I think I was 15. Went right through the windshield. And uh, yeah, it was it was a really bad idea. And it was the last stunt that I did. Uh, take a skateboard and take all the wheels off. And then we would jump off of like a, an eight foot or ten foot tall wall. Like a, like a brick wall, yeah. and then we would land on grass that goes down a hill. So we would have to jump off this huge wall onto the grass, and then it's like basically... Like scratch boarding? Like grass boarding, snowboarding. exactly. We would do things like that, and then you know we would we would try to jump over. Like this one time, I almost broke my arm, actually. So really summing cool. up, you're an adrenaline junkie? Oh, definitely. I'm definitely <laughs> an adrenaline junkie. That's it's my life. <laughs> so how can your fans contact you? I know through like Facebook and stuff? I have a personal Facebook. Uh -huh. You search Matthew Underwood, and it has like 5,000 friends. Uh, so my personal Facebook, I can't add you anymore, but I'm working on that. I'm working on getting <laughs> in touch with Facebook and getting them to raise the bar, because uh, I think I'd be the yeah, only... Yeah, just for you. Yeah, I think they will, though. I mean, we're getting, we're getting some pretty good uh, we're getting some pretty good feedback. Yeah, fan Facebook that's connected to my personal Facebook. And you can also find it on MU Actor Bootcamp that has to do a tour of Ohio next month. No, this month, actually. I start Thanksgiving weekend. Okay. I start Black Friday. Oh, yeah. that's like a rough day to go out. I know. <laughs> so I'm going to be at the mall at like 3 o'clock in the morning in Cleveland, Ohio. Don't get trampled. Uh, I know. That's what I'm kind of scared. <laughs> and finally, when they raise the bar for me, because I know they're going to. Cause they, you have see, faith in them. I do, because <laughs> this is what they say. They say that it's scientifically impossible to meet and know that many people. And, and so, it's not really. No. I mean, I, I did it in like a month. I had 5,000 friends on Facebook. And I told each person individually to add me. I know these people. I might not, you know, always remember their names, yeah. like, on the dot. Yeah, you know the faces are. Oh, yeah, I do know the faces. That's the craziest. I have a really good memory. And, and you know, it is a personal Facebook for me, though. It's like, I wanted to transfer to make, to bring everybody to my fan Facebook, because you don't have a limit there. Yeah. But I answer my, my, my emails, I answer my, my messages, I comment on people's pictures when they comment on mine, I have conversations with people through comments on my, on my, on my wall. You get more than 5,000 people to sign a piece of paper that says, Matthew, you should have more than 5,000 friends. <laughs> I think I'm guaranteed. Oh uh, yeah, when you go to the mall on Black Friday, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get that. Oh my gosh, I you're just so gave you an right. idea. You gave me an idea. I'm totally gonna get five more than five thousand people to sign that. Oh man, that's gonna be awesome. Like Los Angeles, there's some malls that I'm not even allowed to go into. They ban you. They ban me from some of the malls. Yeah, because like when I go there, I always like I would tweet where I'm gonna be or I'm yeah. Foursquare. Foursquare is awesome. 
and uh, and I'd let people know where I'm going to be there. And then all these people would show up, and all the, they don't have enough security, so they would be like, "You have to leave." And then now, like the Sherman Oaks Galleria, they've they've said, "You are not allowed in this mall." And, okay. Well, thank you for talking to me. I had a good day today, though. Thank you. Yeah. I, I um, enjoyed your class. Yeah, it was really fun. I had a great time. You were such a fantastic actress. Uh, oh, are you just saying that? <laughs> yeah, yes. you really are. <laughs> you were really fantastic. Thanks. You can tell my brother that one. Yeah, yeah. Your brother's actually really good, too. I had a really great time, and I, I can't wait to, uh, I'm sure I'll see you again sometime soon. Well, that's a wrap.